The key goal of the VLSI Design Lab is to give the students an opportunity to go through the whole process of coming up with an idea, building the circuitry on the computer, and the commercial foundry then makes the chips, and the students get the circuitry in their hands and build it out into a full system. We also had a lot of interactions with Apple engineers over the course of the class and also today. They will ask some questions on a Zoom meeting and so now we are ready to do the demonstrations of the various chips. Our project is MicroDrive. It's a um, digital display driver for a 20 by 20 micro LED display. Originally we wanted to have something called micro LED display driver. So basically this setup can go on a very miniaturized microscope system where you can stimulate individual neurons by just shining a light onto them. Cool, uh, so this is a really nice demo of a, of a passive matrix dis uh, display. So that's, that's awesome, thanks. We are DAS Audio, we built a Class D audio amplifier. And then we have volume all the way up. You're rocking out. It's a clock, so basically it does everything like your cell phone. It has the same function to display the time, to set a time, and it has alarm and timer. If you're designing a company, there are hundreds and thousands of engineers working on a single chip, but we own this project. We know every single transistor of this chip. So just as a little background, um, electrical impedance tomography, or EIT, is a either non-invasive or invasive method of neuroimaging. So being able to uh, detect uh, activity within the brain. So this is uh, the dye photo of our chip. Uh, that's a picture of us in the center. This is our board right here. Signal comes in, goes through our chip, and then sampled, and then sent to our microcontroller. The resistivity of the tissue is being changed at 100 hertz. And then from that, we can make an image of the tissue we're looking at. We are going to go to the next group, Bum Bum Pulse. This is a system overview of our heart rate monitor and oxygen level pulse oximeter. What was the heart rate in the commercial product and in your tube? The heart rate is 107. The oxygen saturation is 95 and the reference is 96. So we are the radar team and uh, we use Doppler effect in the electromagnetic spectrum to uh, detect objects. They're trying to make it uh, more viable to be used in electric cars and FMCW radars are much more power efficient and smaller. You never know how to design a chip unless you actually make a chip and test it. This is a very complicated system. We are really proud actually to make it work. From the Class D amplifiers to the radar, everything is things you can find in your phone, in your computers. It's basically what our modern age is built upon. What we're looking at here is uh, students learning how to design and make new uh, architectures, new chips. After doing this project, we feel that we are industry ready. Personally, I, I'm an engineer. I like to build things. You know, I like to build chips. And so it's really a great opportunity to then see all the students do it.